What's going on, everyone? In this video, I am going to show you guys the best trading view indicators for day trading that have an insane win rate, which I'll show you, of course, with examples too. Uh, and now I know what you're thinking. There's no such thing as a perfect indicator, but trust me, these ones come really close and no one knows about these, all right? I'll, I'll show you guys when I add these. Not a lot of people know about these, all right? So if you're looking to up your game in day trading, then you don't wanna miss this day trading strategies videos. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. Let's get it going. All right, so first, you're going to go into tradingview.com. Um, and I've got a link down in, in, my, in the description for TradingView as well. If you guys don't have it, you can use it for free. It's awesome. Um, let me X out of all of this stuff so you guys know exactly what your chart is going to look like, what you're going to do. So we're going to set up two indicators, but first, we're gonna do this on the 15 minute time frame, and you're gonna be using Heikonashi candles, all right? So once you've changed your candles and you've got the time frame going, click on indicator. The first one we're gonna add, so remember the QQE mod that we used to use that so many people know about? And guess what? Yeah, we're not using that one. We're using the QQE threshold, all right? The one by Jose5770, all right? See how low that number is? Not a lot of people know about this one. We're going to add that and we're going to make some changes to the settings, right? So go over here, click on that little cog looking thing that's settings. Go into settings. The first thing we're going to do is in inputs, we're going to change the RSI length from 14 to we're going to change it to three. All right. Then we're going to go into style and in style, we're gonna uncheck a couple of things. We're gonna uncheck the bar color. Actually, you know what? We're gonna keep the bar color. Let's let's keep the bar color. We're just gonna uncheck the plotting, not that plotting, these two lines for the plots. We're gonna uncheck that. And then we're gonna uncheck the levels because we don't need those. And we will uncheck the H lines background. So this is what it's gonna look like once you're done. And we are, we're, we're, we're gonna keep the bar color, let's, let's do that. So now that the QQE threshold is set, we're gonna add one more indicator. And this one is called the extreme trend, all right? By G-Y-O-T-I, all right? Again, super low number, not a lot of people know about this one. We're gonna make some changes to this too. And I have no idea why the author of this made these lines yellow and blue. So we're gonna go into settings and I'm gonna change. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of the shapes. We don't need that. And for the lines, the blue lines that are supposed to be bullish, I'm gonna turn those to green. And then the yellow lines, which are supposed to be bearish, we're gonna to turn to red and then click OK, because the part of the strategy, it, it's, it's about using the red candles, the red uh, histogram, and then the red line. So it's like, it doesn't make sense to use those other colors on here. But you guys can choose whatever colors you want. This is just what I like to use. So I've got these on here. OK, now what exactly is the strategy, right? So this works with Forex, crypto, stocks, options, indexes, indices. It works with everything, right? But for this example, I'm going to show it to you guys on the Euro JPY. Again, 15 minute time, time chart. Great for day trading, right? It's a great day tra trading uh, strategy. So step number one, the price has to be above this X trend line. Rule number two, actually, you know what? I've been doing this and I think people have really liked it. So I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to show you guys notes on here. So this way you guys can take notes as well. So uh, if we're going long position, rule number one, price above the X trend. All right. So price has to be above the X trend. Rule number two, QQE histogram. green bar All right, the bar has to be green right here number three the bar color of the high kanashi candle needs to be green okay right? and if all of those meet the criteria 
that's going to be your trigger candle. This will become the candle that you'll enter the trade on. And you guys know Heikinashi candles usually averages out the last, you know, the last couple of candles or so. So when we when we look at this stuff, we're going to basically look look towards the middle of the candle, right? When when we look at uh, examples later on. So that's going to be the uh, the strategy, or at least the rules for the strategy. Now, where are you going to set the take profit and stop loss on these? So what I like to do on this, and I like to I like to do the stop loss right below the latest uh, swing low, right right below this latest swing low. And you're going to take profit when the QQE histogram show, shows a red bar. Okay. So let me, let's add that to the notes too. Stop loss below latest swing low. Take profit uh, QQE histogram red bar. All right. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at something like this, right? Um, actually, so that's that's the long position. Let me show you guys the strategy for the short position, which is going to be the exact opposite, and then I'll show you guys some examples. So let's let's take this, and then let's create another text right here. All right. And this is great because on this particular chart, you can look at both, both of these together. So price has to be below the X trend. QQE histogram, you need, you need a red bar, okay? Red bars, red bars, right? Then you need a red candle. So the Heikinashi bars, you need to, they need to be green, not yellow. They need to be red, I mean. On, on the short positions, they need to be red. None of this yellow stuff, right? Red candle. Stop loss above recent swing high. Take profit. QQE histogram. Green bar. All right. Here you go. You guys can take some notes on that stuff. So now, before we get into some examples, I'm going to show you guys some examples next. But before we get into that, if you guys are finding this useful, please hit that like button and write nice in the comments below. And YouTube has recently added a thanks button. So if you guys want to say just say thanks or show your support for this video, please hit that thanks button too. I'd really appreciate that. It really supports the channel. And while you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any more future videos to help you become a more profitable trader. All right, so now let's look at some examples. So on here, we're going to... So this is a great short example. This is a great buy example. And I'll show you guys a couple more. All right, so... You, you because I know there are going to be some trolls making some comments about oh my god, just because you showed two examples doesn't mean this has such a high win rate. Go back to sit yourself, man. Come on. Um, so here, so for a short position right here, this is where you would get in because this would be where it, it all lines up. You want to wait for that candle to close, you get in right here in the middle. You can put the stop loss right above the swing high because it's a short position and you're going to get stay in this trade until the QQE histogram bar shows green. So let's, let's take this all the way up to here, right? And that's where you would get out. And because the Heikinashi candles averages stuff out, we're just going to do the middle of the candle, right? So something like this would have been risk reward ratio on something like this would have been one to 5.3, 5X. 5x the uh, the risk amount, right? That's a good trade. And you're gonna be like, oh my god, let's let's look at some more. So here, right? Da, da, da. So here's 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 another entry right here. This would be the candle that initiates it. This is would be this would be the trigger candle. This is where you would get in. 
right? Long position right here because it's all green. Price action is above the green line for the X trend. Candle is green, histogram is green. Let's go. You're gonna put your stop loss right below the recent swing low, which would be right here. And you'd get out of this trade when it turns red. That's still a risk reward ratio of one to 1.32, still a profitable trade. And now this is where, let's see, when we could get, get into this trade again, because you, you got out right here, right? You got out right here. You could get back in. This initiates it. This would be the trigger. This would be the trigger candle because the price action is right above, very light. You could even skip that, right? And if you want it to be super safe, wait to get in even on this candle, right? Because now the price action really is above the X trend. So if you did that right here, even say you got in right here, right? And you would keep going until this candle right here where the QQE would go into, would show a red bar right here. And the latest swing low would be right here as a, as a stop loss, because here's the latest swing low, right? So you could even give it some extra breathing room, right? And even with that, the risk to reward ratio on this is one to 3.67. That's ridiculous. Now let's go back and see if there's any other opportunities right here. Okay, so here's something. Uh, price action above, above the X trend. This would be the trigger candle. You'd enter the trade right here. Right, and do it in the middle. Swing low, in, right below the swing low, you could just do that, right? And you'd get stay into this trade until about this right here, until this candle. So even if you got that, it's still almost one to one. It's one to one point uh, to zero point eight eight. It's still a profitable trade. So again, this this particular strategy, it has a lot of um, it's it's a it's a high probability trade setup, right? Some of the profits, if you keep letting it run, you know they add up to quite a bit. Stop, you know, when the stop losses, if if and when they get hit, they're pretty small. But uh, even with profitable trades, a little bit of profit is still better than a loss, right? So even if, if some, sometimes you get a little bit of profit, it's still good. So yeah, these are the rules. This is a strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to follow my free weekly trades on Telegram or get full access to all of my trades on my Patreon, just click on the links in the description below. And here's here's one of the recent trades that I put on my teller on my Patreon. Actually, uh, had a had a pretty good return fairly quickly. So now, yeah, and now go ahead, click on one of my other videos to learn some more awesome trading strategies and day trading strategies, uh, using some of the best indicators on TradingView. And I will see you on the next one.